Hi, I'm Tara Benham, National Tax Leader for Grant Thornton. Finance Minister Christia Friedland delivered the 2022 federal budget on April 7th. This was the first federal budget announcement since the 2021 election. So the budget was influenced by several factors, including the Liberal government's spending promises from the election, the new spending promises made as a result of their coalition with the NDP, the need to balance pandemic relief spending and focus on climate change, and the global economic uncertainty triggered by Russia's invasion of Ukraine. From a tax perspective, some of the highlights of what the budget focused on include a cornucopia of measures that relate to housing affordability. This includes a new tax-free first home savings account, which is much like an RRSP, but meant to help Canadians save for the down payment on a new home. Also, the doubling of the first time home buyer's tax credit from $750 to $1,500. Increasing taxes on banks and life insurers to help support Canada's economic recovery. And the expansion of the small business deduction to encourage small and medium-sized businesses to invest in the economy. For information on these measures and more, visit grantthornton.ca to read the full 2022 federal budget insights and analysis.